Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basic concepts of graph theory. Okay, so we'll be we'll start with the basic terminologies in the graph theory, and then we'll discuss about some theorems which are there, and then we'll solve some practice questions. So in the beginning, we understand what is the definition of a graph. So we can say a graph G is equal to V comma E. See, graph is always represented in the form of sets, okay, where V is a set of vertices and E is a set of edges. So when I am saying G is equal to V comma E, where V is set of vertices and E represents the set of edges, okay, and these vertices are also called as nodes now each edge has either one or two vertices associated with it is saying each edge has either one or two vertices associated with it which is called as a end point of that vertex for example if i say this is the first vertex v1 this is the second vertex v2 and this is representing an edge e1 okay so this edge is associated with two vertices which is v1 and v2 which are also called as the end point of e1 okay and an edge is set to connect its end points now this is how we represent a graph now for example this is also representing a graph which is having three vertices this is vertex v1 vertex v2 and vertex v3 this is edge e1 edge e2 and this is edge E3. So, what are the endpoints of edge E3? That is V3 and V2. What are the edge points of edge E2? That is V1 and V2. Correct. Now, there are different types of graphs that are there. Number one is simple graph. Then we have multi graph. Then we have pseudo graph. Then we have simple directed graph. Then we have directed multi graph, and then we have mixed graph now what is the difference between these graphs now these graphs are differentiated in the form of number of edges the kind of edge they have and uh, do they have multiple edge or not and do they have loops or not okay now what is a multiple edge multiple edge means between any two pair of vertices there are more than one edge present now for example if i say this is a, a vertex v1 this is v2 and this is v3 now this is representing a simple graph correct why because all the edges which are there they are undirected undirected that means there are no directions given so this is a simple graph second multiple edges are not allowed like for example between v1 and v2 there are no multiple edges and third one is loops are not allowed okay now if i say is this a multi graph is this a multi graph yes it is also a multi graph why because uh, it is undirected even though uh, we do not have any multiple edges but still multiple edges are allowed and we do not have any loops so this graph is representing a simple graph as well it is also representing a multi graph third one is a pseudo graph pseudo graph means it should have undirected edges it can have multiple edges but loops uh, sorry it, it can have multiple edges as well as it can also have loops so this is also representing a pseudo graph correct so this is just like we are giving more freedom in in all these cases that means uh, any graph which is a simple graph it is also a multi graph it is also a pseudo graph now if i say i have this kind of graph this kind of graph that is this is the vertex v1 this is vertex v2 this is vertex v3 but in this graph we have two edges between the vertex v2 and v1 so these edges if i say we have two edges now for example this is a one edge e1 and this is representing the second edge e2 so because there are two edges so now this is not a simple graph it is not a simple graph why because there are multiple edges between the vertex v1 and v2 these two edges are connecting the same pair of vertices second is it a multi graph yes it is a multi graph why because there are multiple edges correct is it a pseudo graph yes it is a pseudo graph in the same way you can find out for the other points also now if i say what is the pseudo graph itself if uh, then we can have, draw a graph like this 
this is the vertex v1 this is vertex v2 this is vertex v3 and we have a self loop at vertex v2 okay what is the self loop loop is where uh, with for an edge if starting vertex and ending vertex both are same now that is called as a loop now is it a simple graph no why it is not a simple graph because uh, yeah so because for example in between v1 and v2 there are multiple edges that are present why uh, it is not a multi graph why because uh, in multi graph loops are not allowed but this graph is having loops is it a pseudo graph correct it is a pseudo graph now we'll see just some examples of all these six graphs in the next uh, slide just have a look at this now this is presenting a simple graph okay as as i told you what is the definition of a simple graph a simple graph uh, is a graph which is not having any multiple edges and it is not all, it is also not having any kinds of loops okay so therefore it is representing a simple graph now if i say this graph now this graph is not a simple graph but it is a multi graph why because in this case uh, in in a multi graph you say uh, there are multiple edges allowed but loops are not allowed okay so this is clearly clearly we are saying it is a multi graph because multiple edges are allowed but loops are not allowed now if you see this example this example is presenting a pseudo graph pseudo graph means uh, the graph is undirected multiple edges are allowed as well as loops are allowed so because uh, between every city here the loops are also allowed and multiple edges are also allowed so this is a pseudo graph then we have this graph which is representing uh, the simple directed graph that means multiple edges are not allowed loops are not allowed but directions are allowed so you can have you can see between every pair of cities here there are given some directions like for example between san francisco and denver we have a direction and uh, that means we have an edge between san francisco to denver but we do not have any edge between denver to san francisco then we have los angeles and so on correct okay? because their directions are given for this graph now this graph was simply representing a simple directed graph in the same way we can have directed multi graph and we can have we can have mixed graphs now look at the de definitions here uh, what is a directed graph a directed graph or die graph is represented by v comma e that is set of vertices and e is a set of edges which is consisting of a non empty set of vertices see whenever we are discussing about graph definition it is always non empty set of vertices because without having any vertex a graph cannot exist and a set of directed edges you see in without the having uh, having an edge a graph can exist for example if i say we have three vertex v1 v2 and v3 now even if there is no edge between these three vertices but still it is called as a graph okay so for a graph having a vertex is important or you can say it is mandatory or it is necessary but having an edge it is not at all necessary now each directed edge is associated with an ordered pair of vertices and the directed edge associated with the ordered pair is said to start from u to end point of v so this is just a definition of directed graph what does it mean it is saying that if we have three vertices v1 there is a vertex v2 and there is a vertex v3 now a directed graph v comma e consists of non empty set of vertices yes it is a non empty set of vertices and set of directed edges like for example between v1 to v2 they, there can be an edge there can be an edge between v1 to v2 right in the same way we can have an edge between v2 to v3 we can an, have an edge between v1 to v3 okay so each directed edge is associated with the ordered pair of vertices ordered pair of vertices mean that means between v1 to v2 we can have an edge but between v2 to v1 we do not have an edge okay so v1 comma v2 this ordered pair is not at all equivalent to v2 comma v1 so these two ordered pairs are not at all equal so that is why we say when we represent the set of edges then it should be an ordered pair now what what does that i what does it mean when i'm saying ordered pair assuming that this is one graph this is vertex v1 this is vertex v2 and this is vertex v3 now this graph is a completely undirected graph this is a undirected graph right now if i'm showing showing what are the vertices we have there are or what are the edges we have 
then we can have three kinds of representations number one we can have adjacency list representation adjacency list representation second one we can have adjacency matrix representation adjacency matrix representation and third one is we can have set representation now we have already seen the adjacency list and adjacency matrix representation in uh, uh, in data structures also and in the coming videos we are also going to discuss about the adjacency list as well as the adjacency matrix but here we are represent using the set representation now when we have undirected graph now here we have uh, in this set we represent unordered pair of vertices unordered that means we can have v1 comma v2 there is an edge between v2 comma v3 there is an edge between v1 comma v3 there, there can be an edge okay it represents that v1 comma v2 is equivalent to saying v2 comma v1 this is in case of undirected graph that means the order does not matter v1 comes first with v2 that does not matter okay but when we have a directed graph directed graph directed graph means we can have a vertex v1 v2 v3 now in these three vertices there is an edge between v1 to v2 there is an edge between v2 to v3 and there is an edge between v3 to v1 now uh, how we are going to write the pair of vertices a uh, pair of edges we can have v1 comma v2 we can have v2 comma v3 we can have v3 comma v1 but it does not mean that v1 comma v2 is equivalent to v2 comma v1 because when I'm saying v2 comma v1 that means there's a directed edge between v2 to v1 so in case of undirected graph we use unordered pair of vertices to represent the edge but in case of directed graph we always use ordered pair of vertices to represent an edge okay so each directed graph is associated with ordered pair of vertices and a directed edge associated with the ordered pair is said to start from u and end at v for example if i say u comma v that means the edge is from u to v okay now here you can see all the edges uh, that are represented in this graph they are the directed edges okay uh, then uh, this that graph with where we were having directed edges let me show it to you now this graph that where we were having all the directed edges we do not have any loop in this graph so this graph is representing a directed multi graph directed multi graph okay there are multiple edges are allowed as well as loops are allowed but it is not representing a simple graph why it is not representing a simple graph because if you see that between san francisco and denver there are two paths are possible there are two two, two edges with the same directions are possible therefore it is representing a directed multi graph correct now look at this uh, de uh, this definition it is saying two vertices u and v in an undirected graph G is called adjacent if in G if U and V are endpoints of an edge of G H E of G such that E is called incident with the vertex U and V and E is said to connect U and V that that means first of all they are discussing about the undirected graphs that where no directions are given now if there is a vertex U and there is a vertex V now these two vertices are called as adjacent adjacent when and only when there is an edge which is existing between u and v which is having one end point as u and second end point as v okay so such kind of uh, uh, vertices are called as adjacent vertices now look at this definition a degree of a vertex in an undirected graph is the number of edges incident with it except that a loop at a vertex contribute twice to the degree of vertex the degree of vertex v is denoted by degree of v okay what does it mean it means let us suppose we have uh, these two different kinds of graph this is a undirected graph this is v1 vertex v2 this is vertex v3 now this is a second graph which is a directed graph directions are given 
this is vertex v1 this is vertex v2 and here it is vertex v3 and this is representing nh okay and we have one more graph here this is vertex v1 this is vertex v2 there's a self loop and this is vertex v3 now when i'm saying a degree of a vertex in an undirected graph is the number of edges incident with it now this is discussing about the undirected graph and they're saying the number of edges incident with it incident with it okay now for example if i say what is the degree of vertex v1 degree of vertex v1 is what are the number of edges incident with the vertex v1 which are 2 now what is the degree of vertex v2 degree of vertex v2 that is equivalent to 2 what is the degree of vertex v3 that is also equivalent to 2 this is undirected graph now second graph this graph g2 it is, is an directed graph now if i say what is the degree of vertex v1 now here the degree of vertex v1 is 0 because there is no incident vertex right now for it for a directed graph, we'll be discussing about what is a in degree and what is a out degree. Now here we are just discussing about the out degree. Now what is the degree of vertex v2? Degree of vertex v2 is one because there is one incident in uh, edge here. And what is the degree of vertex v3? That is equivalent to two in the directed graph. Now the third graph which is uh, represented by this graph G3. Now this is an undirected graph. What is the degree of vertex V1? Degree of vertex V1 is 2 because there are two edges incident. What is the degree of vertex V2? Vertex V2 degree is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So degree of vertex V2 is 4. In the same way what is the degree? What is the degree of vertex V3? That is represented by 2. So this is called as a degree of a vertex. Now look at this one <coughs> this question what are the degrees and what are the neighborhoods of the vertices in the graph g and v now uh, you say what is the degree of a degree of a is 2 because there are two edges what is the degree of b degree of b is 1 2 3 and 4 there are four edges what is the degree of f degree of f is 1 2 3 4 so there are four edges what is the degree of vertex E? That is 3. Degree of vertex C? That is 3. And degree of vertex D? That is equivalent to 1. So this is the degree of each and every vertex here. Now look at this one. Here what is the degree of vertex A? Degree of vertex A because there are uh, multiple edges between two pairs of vertices. So here 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now in this graph because it is having multiple edges between the same uh, pair of vertices like for example between a and e there are multiple edges now here the degree of vertex a will increase and degree of vertex a now will become 4 okay but in the original case the degree of vertex a was only 2 now what is the degree of vertex e how many edges are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so degree of vertex e is 6 what is the degree of vertex b vertex b is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 there are 6 degree what is the degree of vertex d degree of vertex d is 1 2 3 4 5 and what is the degree of vertex c that is equal to 1 only so this is representing a graph and we found out what is the degree of h and every vertex now when i said neighborhood of every vertex neighborhood for example here for this particular graph what is the neighborhood vertices of any uh, any particular vertex for example if i say what is the neighborhood of vertex a neighborhood are the uh, vertices which are adjacent to a b is adjacent to a e is adjacent to a and d is adjacent to a so neighborhood of vertex a is b d and e in the same way what is the neighborhood of vertex b so see in the even if the degree of vertex b is 6 but the neighborhood can be less because vertex b is having self loop but still what is the neighborhoods of vertex b that is a b c d and e so in neighborhood of b there are five vertices five vertices but uh, the degree is six that means if the degree is more than the neighborhoods 
सो दे मेक इट मे कंटेन सम काइंड ऑफ सेल्फ लूप करेक्ट इन द सेम वे इफ आई से वट इज द नेबरहुड ऑफ डी सो नेबरहुड ऑफ डी इज ए बी ई सो इन डी वी हैव ए बी ई करेक्ट बट स्टिल दर इज थ्री वट इज इन द नेबरहुड बट द डिग्री ऑफ डी इज फाइव सो स्टिल बिकॉज देर इज अ डिग्री ऑफ डी इज फाइव एंड नेबरहुड ऑफ इट इज हैविंग थ्री सो आई दर डी कैन बी हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ सेल्फ लूप और इट मे बी हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ मल्टीपल एजेस करेक्ट सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिग्री एंड द नेबरहुड ऑफ द बर्टिस नाउ लुक एट दिस वन द नेक्स्ट इज द हैंड शेकिंग थियोरम और यू कैन से द हैंड शेकिंग लेमा सो लेट्स डू वन थिंग इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द हैंड शेकिंग थियोरम so in this video we just had a discussion about uh, the basic terminologies of graph theory now we'll be starting with the handshaking lemma or you can say the handshaking theorem from the next video onwards